Hey guys, welcome to school. My name is Sony Wars. Here's a tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro 12. It doesn't matter what Sony Vegas you have, but this, everything still works as the same. Over the years, I have been uploading to YouTube and I have been fiddling around with all sorts of programs and I find Sony Vegas Pro absolutely fantastic for it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a couple of things in Sony Vegas, what you can do on your YouTube channel if you're a news reporter, you like doing um, you know, voiceovers and things like that on games or reviews on games or reviews on products. These things, these steps will help you to hopefully to get more subscribers. <clears throat> Alright guys, what I'm going to show you is news report. It's probably the most easiest one you can actually do, and especially in Sony Vegas Pro. Um, right, I want to clip this. I pressed S on the uh, keyboard to just to clip it. I can remove the uh, audio track as well. So if I want to remove it, is I press U, and I can slide it around and actually delete it. So it doesn't actually delete everything. Um, this you can get for free. Uh, there's plenty of sites out there where they give you free downloads and things like that. Alright, how to get footage in that green square. Okay, what I want to do is I'm going to whack my footage in underneath it so it creates a layer. And this is Sniper Elite 3 by the way guys. I'll just delete this track. So everything is up there. I want to zoom into it so I can see the timeline and I can see what I've got in it. As you can see, I'm clicking on it and it's not really showing up in here. So what you want to do is click on this cross right here. This window will turn up. You want to find Chroma Key. This window will turn up. You'll s start to see at the background here, you'll see things are starting to show up and everything is gone Blech, horrible. How to fix this? Very simple. What you want to do is you want to go to green screen. Now it's turned up, but the background is still a little bit eh, not really good. So how to fix that to make the news stand really pop out is you click on this little box here you up the levels on this so you can start seeing you know the background in the background there so oh well in the foreground and you want to lower this one <clears throat> so you really want to make this pure white on your side so when I untab that there we go we have all the bits and pieces here so I want to add a bit of text so what you want to do is you want to go to the bottom of it, you want to insert a video track. So and it will turn up at the top and if it doesn't you can easily click and hold and you can move it to anywhere. So now what I want to do is I want to insert text. So once it turns up, it will turn up right next to the cursor. I can change the colour to yeah, so whatever. So. I want to change the font or the styling is to this and um, I want to uh, resize it to say put into this section you know there you go and and you could do the same again you just repeat it or you just copy it and that's simple so how to you know, you could stretch it out uh, to the whole length of the video. So when you do play it, it sits there and pulses all the time. So, that's how you do your text, and that's how you do your chroma key. Very simple. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the text. And the visual. Now I want to say make this a little bit brighter and a little bit more sharper. Reason being is it yeah, it's bright enough. But if I upload this to YouTube right now, uh, what's gonna happen is 
YouTube's going to darken it down a little bit. But also, the, this program's got a nasty habit. If you don't uh, follow these steps, what you want to do is you right click, you go to properties, and you want to disable this one. And the reason why I say this is it stops the blurring into the uh, when you render it because it will blur. It doesn't seem like it's blurring now, but when you actually render it, it will it will sit there and blur. So let's find a nice little clip where I shoot somebody. Let's uh, get rid of these uh, bits of clips. <clears throat> and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a another clip. As you can see, it's got its own little audio and things. Let's get rid of this one. You. Let's find a nice section where it's quite dark. Yeah, let's, um, yeah, this guy. Okay, let's put that there and get rid of that. All right, now I have a nice bright scene and a nice dark scene. Let's say. I wanted this one to be a little bit brighter. So let's go into levels and quality. So what you want to do is go to effects and you want to find levels it's right there. And you just put it on the timeline right here. You don't want to fiddle with that. And sharpness is the next one. So I want to put that one on there. You can see is things are starting to pop out really quite a lot now. If you up the levels, you'll see it's starting to turn a bit weird. If you down it, but you want to find a good where it's really sticking out. And as you can see, it's a lot brighter as well. Okay, this scene, as you can see, it has brightened up a little bit, but not too much. How to brighten it up a little bit more. Okay, color corrector. Let's go effects, find color corrector. I have my own little preset. You can save these and chuck it in there. See, and it's brightened up a little bit, even a little bit more. So I'm quite happy with that. And every video clip you put in, always go to properties and disable. Okay, the next part now is how to do a voiceover. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to disable the audio so you're not going to get blasted. And I'll show you how to uh, straighten out your audios as well. So let's put that there. Let's get rid of this one. Timeline. As you can see, I have quite a lot of things <laughs> what's open. So I'm going to start deleting these. Uh, and okay. <clears throat> now I have disabled the audio, so when I do fire, there is no audio. So when I untab that, and let's lower this down a little bit. This is how I control my audio levels. And let's play it. Let's see, it's audio's back. So the last thing you want to do is, <clears throat> if you don't uh, mute it, and you're doing a, a say a talk through, and also do this as well, say if you're getting stuck on one little bit, you can actually mute it there. You want to click this little red button right here. This is the record mics and settings. This little window will turn up. <clears throat> you just press OK. And then you can do talking all the way through. So as you can see, with that little red line popping up, you can actually hear my voice getting spoken into. 
So, there you go. That's how you can do a voiceover. Even if you haven't got your voice recorded on your footage or anything else. Alright guys, I'm going to show you my render settings. Let's stop this. That's how you stop it. You can delete or say done. I'm going to click done. And now I'm going to play my track. And hopefully you should hear me. You can do a voiceover. Even if you haven't got your voice recorded on your footage. Or and there you go. And if you're wondering what this game is, it's Sniper Elite 3. And I thought it was great because it has dark areas and light areas. And to really show you what you can really do with Sony Vegas. Alright. <clears throat> my render settings. As you can see, I have, say, I completed my project. I want to go into my render settings. I want to go render as. As you can see, you can rename it here let's call it F you can relocate it to wherever it's my desktop okay what I'm going to show you this is my preset uh, the one I have saved uh, I, I find this setting absolutely fantastic and you'll find it in Sony Vegas well Sony AVC MV uh, MP4 all that and You'll find that in there, and the next part you want to do is you want to scroll down, and I just passed it, and you want to go to this one. And you'll go, hmm, hang on. To go in here, you just click on this, and this is where you want to set up your own preview. That's how you save your tab, you just like rename it, and you just click save. I'm not going to save it, but I'll show you on my render settings through this point. As you can see, it's the very same, but I have saved it as Jim, but the original. As you can see, just pause the video at any time, and I'm going to go through this very slowly. And to render is hit render, and that's it. And that's simple. Alright guys, my name is Sony Wars. Please like and subscribe, leave a comment section below. Did you know that there was a secret plot to overthrow the teddy bear? That and more in today's episode. Collaboration videos on YouTube can help you grow. That and more in today's episode.